In this video, we will show how to use Meraki Systems Manager to enroll your Android devices in BYOD, or Bring Your Own Device Mode. In Android BYOD enrollments, the device's storage is split up into two partitions, the personal data and the work data. This type of containerization is really great to keep your end user's personal data and the work data from Meraki Systems Manager separated. The first thing you need to do is head to Organization MDM and set your Android for Work enrollment type. Now there are two choices. You can either use Meraki Managed Deployment or you can use an existing Google domain. Meraki Managed Deployment is a great option if you just want the Android Work Profile features without owning your own Google domain. Alternatively, you can use the existing Google domain option. Now this is a great option if you already have access to a Google Admin Console and your end users have end user Google accounts. For more information on Android work profile details, check out android.com work. For the BYOD enrollment, the starting device will have already been set up, like this one. The device was already pulled out of the box, end user prepared it themselves, they've signed in with whatever account they have, this is their personal device, and this is their personal data now. Um, so now we're going to go through the enrollment process so we can set up the work profile um, and start controlling it from Meraki Systems Manager. So the end user will need to go to the Play Store and download the Meraki Systems Manager app. After it's installed, launch it and be sure to accept all of the yellow alerts on the home page. This will ensure that the Systems Manager app has all of the necessary permissions and access to the device. Now let's enroll the device. Type in the network ID or scan the network's QR code from the Meraki Systems Manager Add Devices page, uh, which can be found on your Meraki Systems Manager dashboard. Your device may ask which type of enrollment you want. Uh, if you want Google Manage type or Meraki Management type, this really depends on whatever you have set up under Organization MDM. If your device does not show this screen, don't worry, it just means your device detected it automatically. Now accept these terms and conditions and go through the work profile setup. This step is now configuring that work data partition that we need. Google does require all devices to be encrypted to set up this work profile. So if your device is not encrypted yet, you will be asked to encrypt the device before continuing. And after this finishes, you'll get a message that says you need to use the badged version of the app now and that the main app will now start the uninstalling process. The badged app icons you'll now notice are on the device's home screen as well. These badged icons are the apps that are inside that work container that Systems Manager has control of. The apps without the badged icon are inside the personal container outside of Meraki Systems Manager's control. Now there's a lot of advanced settings and restrictions you can set inside that work profile container so definitely check out the Meraki Systems Manager dashboard and the profiles to figure out how you want to configure this work profile container, what apps you want to install for its BYOD enrollment in Meraki Systems Manager.